in graphing techniques there is uh, one more aspect how to square a function you may be knowing sin x well and now you are asked to square sin x now how to do it now why are we discussing it because if someone asks what is the period of sin square x what is the period of sin to the power 9x these types of cases now when you are squaring a function you are multiplying it by itself you are multiplying every single height by itself say for example this is one height when you square it you multiply that height by itself in case of sin x this height is a decimal if you multiply this height by itself will you make it smaller or larger if you multiply this height by itself will you make it smaller or larger smaller you are making it smaller absolutely correct and just imagine you are doing it throughout how about choosing this point that is also a decimal height point you will be multiplying it by itself you will be again decreasing its height one can argue like this for this whole 0 to pi values of x except at one point this logic is going to work except at the top at the top you are multiplying one height one unit by itself so here you are not decreasing the height so i should mark the same point here and of course zero uh, is going to be zero only when you square it so just look at this interesting situation and so easy to understand situation also it will go below sin x but it will meet sin x at 90 degrees and then again it will go below when you do the same exercise for the this lobe then when you multiply a height which is negative by itself then aren't you making it positive so if i choose same points here as well let me choose this point say this point just like i had chosen this point if you multiply this height by itself then aren't you going to get the same height in positive side yes you are you are going to get exactly the same height in the positive side if you take this point like we took this point for example 
then aren't we going to get the same height like we did here positive side is so is there any reason why this side is going to look any different from this side actually this lobe of sine and this lobe of sine they are identical except for the fact that one lobe is in the negative side and the other lobe is in the positive side these are identical lobes except for the fact that one lobe is on the negative side and the other lobe is on the positive side so there is no reason why you would get it any different from the left side case if you follow this approach then sin to the power 1000x will not be difficult for you but before that what do you think is the period of sin square x what do you think is the period of sin square x yes pi is the correct answer look at this lobe and see when it is repeated you will find no difference after this pi so the answer is pi in fact there can be an interesting variation to sin x itself how about uh, considering mod of sin x let me use third color how about mod of sin x when we discussed graph plotting then we also discussed how to take mod of a function what did we say there don't touch the positive side whatever is a negative just fold it just fold it or rotate it along the x axis towards the positive direction so when we do this for sin x we don't touch the positive part So let me just use one more color above that. So this is what is going to be mod of sin x up to this point. After that, fold this in the positive direction. and here we go that's it see the similarity between mod sin x and sin square x also see the dissimilarity there are both of them as far as periodicity is concerned then mod sin x repeats itself after this pi so periodicity is the same for both however mod sin x is taller than sin square x uh, for most of the points 
Now one can make the situation more interesting by increasing the power.